What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another PUBG Mobile video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my thoughts and impressions on the first person view mode inside of PUBG Mobile. And I gotta say, I'm very impressed. I was very impressed of the base game and them being able to just kind of squish PUBG experience into a phone, let alone my bummy Samsung Galaxy S7 that I'm still rocking with until I get my upgrade, which I am gonna get it this year. But I, I to my surprise, it looks and runs not as well as his PC counterpart, and you know, not as well as the Xbox One counterpart, but still the fact that I'm able to rock out with a PUBG experience on my phone is still amazing to me. It blows my mind. It's 2018. It's just incredible. But PUBG Mobile, as you guys know, I did a keep it or delete it and told you guys I was going to keep this game. I was going to play this game well. I was going to play this game continuously and give you content on it. And this is kind of my update. I wanted to give you a fresh new impressions video on the brand new modes that they've been adding to this game because that's what they've basically been doing just been adding tons and tons and tons of stuff we got the bad brand new battle pass stuff and now they actually added the first person view mode now which i kind of i'm a huge fan of because playing PUBG on the my laptop i love first person view mode it's just it, it just feels at home with PUBG, or with PUBG being more of a quote unquote military style shooter, I want to say, because it kind of feels like it gets its root from that. And watch me just start off spark off my first kill with the UMP right here. But oh my god, it's just like it's clearly to me, it just feels at home being in first person view. And it was one of those glaring omissions when it wasn't. In the mobile version, it was one of those things. I was like, "Why is it first person view here?" Boom. Gone, you're gone, bro. I don't know why isn't he dead yet, but there he goes. And my second kill. I was like, "Why isn't the second? Why isn't the first person view mode here?" And lo and behold, we finally got the update with the first person view mode. And the reason why I thought why wasn't the mode there in the beginning is because. If you could squeeze the base game, you probably could just squeeze the camera behind the head. I'm pretty sure I'm not a game developer. It's probably different reasons why it wasn't there at launch, but we got it now. And oh my God, does it feel amazing? Yes, it does. It feels, it takes me back to these classic golden eye days. I know a lot of people was like, well, how can you even say that or compare that? And mind you, I'm an old guy, so it kind of does. Me just running in any game, seeing a gun, even in Call of Duty, I just I have to think of those classic days inside a complex and playing 007 on the Nintendo 64. Hit me up in the comments if you remember those days. So, again, this is just gameplay of me screwing around in first-person view mode. My first time actually playing in first-person view mode, and to my surprise, I was loving it again my my first time playing first person view mode on mo the mobile and i believe this is kill number three for me yeah kill number three and i was again i'm i'm, I'm still surprised about how smooth everything kind of runs and feels in, in this thing in this new update as well we also got an option to hold a pistol firearm which again took me by surprise when i picked up a third weapon in this gameplay and seeing that pistol firearm come up i was literally blown away and one thing i do like about the first person view mode here that again resembles seemingly in the full version of the game is that one thing that's kind of weird about the, the 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 first person view mode is that we don't get the inside the car perspective. At least, at least I don't know how. I believe in the PC we get that, and I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure you could change it. And I hear someone's voice, but I don't see them on the map. They, they shoot trying to get at me, and this is me taking them out. And it's somebody else shooting as well. 
I think that was my partner. I think this is when I met up actually with the person I was uh, playing with. I was playing with the squad, and they all jumped. Uh, the first two people jumped out, I believe, right away before we landed. And then I was ended up with the oh, just just one guy who was rocking with me, killing shit on my side. And it's just oh my god, everything is just like thought about so wellly done. With, with the you know you get to see the fingers eating the pills and everything you get to hold the soda can I do that later on in the video and it, the soda can looks terrible yeah compared comparedly to the um, PC build of the game but Jesus Christ just just uh, again I am so I am so impressed on how much they were able to squeeze and compress inside of this mobile game inside of PUBG Mobile and uh, experience is. Again, not as quite as playing with a keyboard and mouse. No, I'm not comparing that. That's apples and oranges, and I would say a gourmet meal to an orange. But I, I, to me, this is it, it, it's 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 able. Like the fact that I was playing this, I think I played this while I was at the park. I literally was at the park. The, the, my wife and my daughter were chilling. I think they were setting up something. And I was like, let, let me just jump into PUBG Mobile. And I jumped in and I so was like, oh, it's a brand new update. Updated it. And seeing that they added the first person view, I was like, I, I gotta do an impressions video. So let me, just, let me just try it out. And my God, it was amazing. As you can see, uh, me rocking up the kills. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna, by the end of the match, and you've probably seen by the title of the video, probably gonna name it that I, I, I rack up 20 kills now I, I'm pretty sure more than a few of these were bots and let me know in the comment section below which kills you think were bots um, um, there is a, a some that did clever maneuvering like the guy behind the trees um, earlier and there is gonna be one that got is there's literally running jumping and like zigzagging and stuff that that I do get a kill off of not saying that I'm the best PUBG mobile player because I am far and I'm not, but I do enjoy the game. I do play it daily with uh, my squad. So if you do want to play PUBG Mobile with me, hit me up in the comments. Let me know exactly what time you be playing around averagely every day, and I'll let you know if that could fit into my schedule, to, to fit into my play load, because I do play daily for the daily logins and stuff like that. Oh my God. And then, like, as you can see, I I didn't even, like, spend time super looting. I just been looting off of the, the dead bodies that I come across. And that's the type of game, that's the type of player I am. I do like spending time looting, especially early in the game. I think it's definitely essential. But it's like, this whole playthrough, I was looting at the bare minimum. I don't have a scope. I just got everything I picked up off of people. As you can see, look... Me trying to get this kill from very far away, and, and me being terrible, obviously, but me trying to get this kill very far away with a um, what do they call it? A higher graphic site, and I'm I'm terrible. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get him down. Get him. Get him. And I didn't get him. I think my partner takes this guy out. I may be mistaken. And I just love that. You can pull out your pistol. You can don't have to waste bullets on your, you know, AKM or your scar, for example. You can pull out the pistol and finish the job off while they lay it on the floor. And to me, that's just that's so this is a feature that we needed in PUBG Mobile for so long. I was so mad when we didn't have this. And it's again, it's pretty cool that they added this. Something that I I don't know if a lot of players are asking for, but it's just great that we got it. And that this is me getting shot by someone I think is a lot. Just the way they reacted wasn't too I don't want to say human like. It just it just didn't feel like that to me when I was playing. This is me just again running across the field looking for my next target and this is, again this is kind of my play style a lot of people say I'm crazy because I just like I would just I hear gunshots and I'm like yo that that's our next kill we got to go and kill confirm that person. And as you see a couple of people right here I get to take down
with the mini. I try to take him down with the pistol whistle. Which again, I just love just seeing it. Again, just seeing them run, reload with the gun in hand, it just feels more at home. Oh, this guy was definitely a bot. 100% bot move. Running up behind me with a DP when he had clearly could have just taken me out. But unless he just didn't have any um, bullets, but clearly a bot right there. Look at me trying to. I'm wishing I had an eight time scope for that one. Looking up the mountain. Boom, boom, boom. See, when you only have a red dot, you can still make it possible. Oh my god. Make it possible with whatever you have. Look at this, look at this. Making it work, making it work. Making it work out here, man. So overall, you guys know I'm a fan. I, I truly think this is the greatest mobile battle royal experience you can get. Right now is PUBG Mobile. Again, this is coming from someone who hasn't played Fortnite on a mobile phone yet. I play Fortnite on the Nintendo Switch and I love it. I play Fortnite on the PS4 and I I, I find it more at home on the Switch and I'm going to do a whole video on why is that. And again, I think that's just because I'm a mobile guy. I, I move around all the time. I need something that I can pick up and play with me and stuff just feels more home in my hand. And PUBG Mobile. I do play more on mobile than I do at you know on the laptop because when I'm on the laptop, I'm editing videos, I'm getting work done, you know, trying to bang out videos right here on the YouTube, and it's it's it it's kind of distracting when I when I jump on the for uh, play PUBG. It's just a long session, you know. I do try to save it for the days that I I dedicate myself that I will not do a video. I'm just gonna take the day off, chill with the baby. You know, when she's taking a nap, get my Fortnite or get my PUBG on. And I'm exclusive to PUBG on the PC. I do not touch Fortnite on the PC. And I have my reasons why. I don't know. It's just, again, it's one of those games that it doesn't feel at home on PC. And uh, you can let me know why in the comment section below if you have your, you know, ideas or your reasons why. Maybe that's just me, but I, I don't find it too at home. But I do find PUBG Mobile at home on mobile. To me, a lot of people complain about it not having tactile buttons or analog sticks. And now, mind you, it doesn't. And that's not a something that you can kind of get used to. To me, once, this, once PUBG Mobile pops up on the Nintendo Switch, I am gone off the mobile version. I am 100% staying on the Nintendo Switch version. Um, do I think that's going to happen? Probably not. It's something they should definitely look into um, to get a, a, at least a version of PUBG running on the Switch, if, especially if they could get this running on mobile phones. I don't see how, why it should be an issue to get something to this caliber, at least, running on the Nintendo Switch, especially with Fortnite killing it out there. Like Fortnite... It's killing it on the Nintendo Switch right now, and I wouldn't be too surprised if um, PUBG was right behind it. So, guys, this is going to kind of... I think this is my last kill. I could be wrong. Nah, this is definitely my last kill. This is what? Kill number 19 is one more. Okay. And again... I kind of feel like it was body this whole match to be honest with you But let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of this match? Do you think it was bot heaven or do you think that a lot of people playing first-person view don't know what they're doing? And again, it, you might want to jump into first-person view because it looks like it's easy picking Because <laughs> the way I jumped in I was just I literally the only guy on my team felt like the only other player in the room Oh my god I hear it, but I don't see it. And I'm getting shot at, but I don't see it. And again, I don't have a scope, so it's kind of hard for me to spot the guy. And I think I looked at him already. And that's me touching the button by accident, which happens to me a ton on PUBG Mobile, which is one of the, the, the greatest flaws of not having tacked out buttons when you got to use the same button to, to, to move the camera. And this guy is hitting me and I can't even spot him. There we go. And as you can see, I got the chicken dinner. 
on my first match playing first person view mode and getting actually 20 badass kills on this match so let me know in the comment section below do you like PUBG mobile are you playing the brand new first person view mode and what are you gonna be what are your thoughts on the brand new mode I love it I enjoy it let me know what you think like I said in the comment section below like always guys I'm daddy Fred on Instagram and Twitter you guys can bring the conversation there I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube and yes I'm gonna be doing a ton of these PUBG mobile videos and the best way to catch them all is with a subscription so please hit that like button hit the subscribe button ring the bell if you want to be notified our next time we drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one